Hey guys, Micah from Black Bear Custom Kydex. I've got a video for you today on a sheet that I just made for this Tops Operator 7, which is a really fantastic knife. I love this thing. And you guys, <clears throat> if you followed me much, you know that I did a couple of sheaths for Tim of Everyday Tactical Vids for his Op 7 and uh, piggybacked a little bugger on it, which is another great little knife from Tops. Um, there was a Therm or Theorem uh, Cell Vault XL, I think it was called, that I put on it as well. Um, so in any event, since then I've gotten a lot of requests for Operator 7s and believe it or not, this is actually the first one that pulled the trigger on it. So I do have a couple other sheaths that I'll be doing very soon for Op 7s, including a really cool one that's going to be uh, a chest rig. So you, it'll, it'll hang, I believe we had decided like so on the chest, it'll have a, a whole setup on it and then you draw it out this way. So that'll be a really cool set of, uh, set up for you to check out on my channel soon but first we have this beautiful uh, I'm really happy that somebody requested it we have a burgundy leather wrapped sheath for the op 7 so he wanted it done in uh, roughly the same style that I had done Tim's leather in only in burgundy and he didn't need any other attachments we've got the ulti or sorry we've got the tech lock on the back here for right hand vertical carry and uh, and that's what's that's what's what. So let's take a look at this real quick. It'll be a short video because there's not a ton to show, but it's a really uh, really beautiful sheath. I think I really love that leather over Kydex look, and especially burgundy is probably my favorite color of leather. So I'm a little bit biased here, but uh, yeah, this just came out looking really nice, nice tight fit on the leather. And if you guys are wondering what a kydex and leather seam looks like. Um, generally I try to match up the actual color of the kydex to whatever the color of the leather is going to be and so in this case I do have burgundy colored kydex. It's actually a faux leather pattern on it so it kind of looks like burgundy leather um, but the color matches up pretty decent there. I don't know if you can really see it too well here but uh, Hopefully it hides the seam as much as possible. There's always going to be a texture difference. So even even like black on black, you can see a texture difference when you do leather on Kydex. But uh, getting it nice and flush is the key. And just making that transition as seamless as possible is good. So this is adhered. It's bonded on there. And it's a very, very strong bond. It's watertight. Uh, I actually did at some point put this just completely submerged in water for... Uh, for a few hours so I could test it out this exact sheath to make sure that I had bonded everything properly and it worked out pretty nice so um, this guy does have an extreme amount of water resistance it's been impregnated with beeswax and uh, or well some kind of wax I'm pretty sure it's a beeswax compound so it's probably some synthetic and some natural beeswax but so the waterproofing on this is pretty comprehensive all right now that I've talked your ear off for three and a half minutes, let's check out that Kydex click. Goes in nice and smooth. Got a good click going in. It kind of has like a little double click that's just where the first handle guard is passing through uh, the top of the tunnel and then where it actually seats in at the ricasso, this little finger guard here. So, got nice, nice retention with no rattle. It's not falling out on you. So it's, it's in there really secure. At the same time, you get a very easy one-handed draw. Um, for the length of the knife, it's not going to be a ballistic draw. Not totally. But you can see it breaks free and will easily come out. So just to give you an idea, I mean, it will absolutely fall straight down. <clears throat> so if you're wearing this, he's got a right hand vertical. It should be very easy to uh, get his knife out of there. Alright guys, that's what I got for you. If you like this sheath, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you like this channel, I ask you to subscribe to it and comment down below. Let me know what you think. Share it with all your friends and stick around for the next one. God bless.